Hello everyone and welcome to Star Ocean the second evolution. Without further ado, let us start a new game. And uh, hold on. My thing is stuck. The cord, I mean. There we go. Alright, so we have two characters here to choose from. Claude C. Kenny, the 19-year-old son, Ronix J. Kenny, hero of the Pangalactic Federation, an earthling ensign attending the Federation Academy. It often troubles him that his life has been molded more by others than himself. And Rina Lanford, free-spirited 18-year-old girl full of dreams and imagination, Rena is adept at unarmed combat and has the special ability to heal others. She lives in Aalia, located in the southern part of planet Expel. So... I'm going to play as... Um, Cloud Zikeni, I can see why not. But I'm not going to use that name, I'm going to put a different name as in, as in my uh, channel name. Kring. And le without further ado, let's start our journey, shall we? Space, the realm of infinite possibility. It has long inspired the dreams of billions. These dreams, countless in number, spread infinitely throughout the universe, though some of these dreams are nightmares. A race of sentient beings from planet Lazonia, discovered in Sector Gamma, declared war on the Terran Alliance igniting the flames of ferocious warfare across the galaxy. SD-342 The battleship Kalnus received a commendation for excellence in command for its victory in the battle against Lazonia. SD-346 The captain of the Kalnus and his second in command successfully contained a mysterious virus outbreak on the underdeveloped frontier planet Roke. They also were able to prevent the tyrannical G.A. Revorce's diabolical plan to conquer Earth. Thanks to his achievements, my father was promoted to Admiral at the unprecedented young age of 38. I respected him more than anybody else in my life. I know that being a Federation officer is among the greatest accomplishments anyone can hope to achieve in this universe. But I am my own man. I'm no puppet. I'm not just the son of Admiral Ronix J. Kinney, hero of the Pan-Galactic Federation. So what am I doing here, of all places? How's it look? Any change from the pre-landing scans? No, sir. None of the wavelengths are showing any response. The field resembles a magnetic energy field somewhat, 
but its exact nature is still uncertain at the moment. Hmm. So it's possible that it's absorbing all the waves from the sensors. All right. Let's try running a spectral analysis on the magnetic waves the field is emitting. Claude, you're a ranking officer now. Use this to protect everyone if something happens. Face comes special art required. Ah, so welcome to Star Ocean, the second evolution, guys. This is a remake of Star Ocean uh, game on PS1. So yeah. What's wrong? Nervous? Mm, I'm a little nervous, yeah. No, not exactly, sir. <laughs> Don't tell me you're already quaking in your boots, Claude. It's not the kind of behavior I expect from an ensign. I'm not Claude, I'm Kring. I... You can use this phase gun in battle by pressing the special arts button. Don't be afraid to pull the trigger, it might just save your life. Alright. No good, Admiral. There's no match with anything in our databases. Hmm. Is that right? Yep. Alright, let's get a closer look at it then. Crapping down there. Like it. I like how the main character walks. <laughs> what can this possibly be? Just why would anyone build something like this here? Who knows? We'll need to find a way into the dome first. Mm hmm. All right. All crew, spread out and investigate the area. All right. Stay alert, people. Safety is of the utmost priority. All right. That's quite a dome, isn't it, sir? Do you think there's a way open to entrance? Yes, there is, actually. You'd think there'd be a switch or sensor somewhat somewhere nearby. Kring, why don't you try exploring this area a bit too? There's gotta be somewhere to open this door. There is, actually. Dad, uh, Admiral? What is it, Claude? Kring. Did you find something? Yep. I think this is some type of control device. Maybe it'll open up an entrance into the dome. Maybe. Good job, Claude. Just as I expected. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. Lol. How does it look? Think you can figure it out? Just give me a little more time and I should be able to... Should be able to what? Hmm. Yay. How's it look in there? I don't see any sensors or security measures at the entrance. Beyond that, I can't say anything until we actually go inside. Then why won't we go inside? All right, let's proceed inward and begin with the investigation. Look alive, everyone. You don't know what we'll find inside. I am alive. All that I know. What do you think that sensor like construction over there is, sir? <laughs> Lol. Save point. Those are save points, so I'm going to save to this. There we go. 
You can use the face gun in battle by pressing a special arts button, which is this one over here. And yeah, I have to tape this um, cord because it was getting peeled off, so... Good luck, sir. Please don't get too close to that device. We still don't know anything about it yet. I'm going to do exactly the uh, opposite thing. Something wrong, Crane. I'm busy analyzing this device over there. You go explore the other areas. Um, I cannot go any other areas, Dad. Yeah, I can't. Literally, I can't. I'm going to go there. Yay! Don't be careless, Claude. Why don't we figure out what that thing is before you go near it? It's Kring, Dad. Never listen. Don't worry. It's nothing special. I'll be fine. Yeah. Stop! Don't go any closer. We still don't know what that device is capable of. Oh, come on. Get back here! Stay away from that thing, Claude. Kring! It's Krang. Claude! Krang! You never listen. God, Dad. Why do you have to be so... Ugh. How are we supposed to accomplish anything if you're going to be that scared? Yeah. Look, there's no danger at all. No danger. Coordinates 214-368. Nine seven seven eight one. Opening gate. What? No. No, it's it's all. That's right! I was on Milokinia! And then that light swallowed me up! Where the hell am I? Dad! Where is everyone? Hey, I still have my communicator! It's no good. I can't get a signal. So where am I? Where did I get sent to? Well, I can't just sit around here and do nothing. I need to figure out where I am right away. From the looks of it, this place might be some underdeveloped planet. Now, where could I possibly be? Who knows? That's... There's someone there! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look out! Behind you! Huh? Ah! I've got to help her. Yeah, go help her. You're going to die. You're going to die. Yeah, he's a beauty. Lol. Well, I'd say that's worth ten out of whoa. Ten out of whoa. <laughs> Whew. Good thing I made it in time. Ah, I shouldn't have used my phase gun. Great. How could I have been so careless? That probably violated the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Hmm. But I had to do it. If I didn't pull the trigger, I couldn't have saved that girl. Yep. I... um... You alright? Oh, that was a close one. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Hey, wait! Way to go, dude. She ran away from me. Yep. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd wait for me. <laughs> I'm sorry I ran away like that. It's okay. Oh, no. That's okay. 
it, it's just that everything happened so quickly. I was really shocked. Hmm. <laughs> Scary, huh? Yeah. Y yes, a little. Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reyna. Reyna Lanford. Hmm. Oh, and, uh, I'm Claude. Claude C. Kinney. Um, hi. I'm Crane. Crane C. Kinney. I'm high. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. Nice to meet you, too. So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? I have no idea. Are you a traveler? Uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? From... from Earth? Earth? Where is that? I figure she wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Well, uh, how can I put it? It's... it's really far away from here. Really? Really far away. Probably. Probably. <laughs> A faraway place? I have never even been off this continent. That's really amazing. Is Earth farther away than L? Mm. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been quite a long and difficult journey. Mr. Kenny, once we cross this bridge, we'll be in Arlia. Arlia? Is that where you live? But, uh, are you sure it's all right if I just barge in? Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. Hmm. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much. Just the least I can offer you. So please. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I like this game a lot. Here we are. Welcome to Arlia. Thanks. I haven't breathed there this clean in a long time. <laughs> what do you mean by clean air? Is there such a thing as dirty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's sure dirty where I come from, anyway. Yep. Really? I don't think I would like that. I don't think so either. This feels a thousand times better. Well, there's plenty of clean air here, so breathe as much as you please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to run back home for a little bit, Mr. Kenny. Would you mind maybe taking a walk around the village for a little while? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Sure. No problem. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. It's probably not a good idea to get too involved with the locals. I better try to find a way back. Hmm. Maybe the villagers will have something helpful to tell me. Maybe. Oh, that could be better. That could be better than earlier. Young folks don't seem to know anything these days. Oh, I see. Building church. Oh, that's wrong. That's an unusual outfit. Where did you find it? Earth? I never heard of that store. It's not Earth. Father Marshall said the hero of light was gonna arrive real soon. No. 
The most be a traveler, I hear even the main roads have become overrun by monsters recently. And yet, at a time like this, you have to decide to venture out into the wilds. I'm sure that you have your reasons, but I cannot imagine that it has been easy for you. May the gods protect you from harm as you continue on your journey. Thank you. That's a really nice eyes of you to say. Let's go and check places. Milokinia? I never heard of it. This is Alia. Our main village is located in, in the southern part of this continent. Okay. I knew a bit home, huh? Are you scared of earthquakes? That stuff doesn't bother me, but I'm afraid of thunder. I really don't like earthquakes. There has been so many recently. I'm getting a bit fed up. I see. I'm going to I'm going to steal your house. Do you know that? Blueberries. Oh, rose hip. Rose hip is to cure antidotes, I think. Let's see. Fruit produced by rose bushes. Highly nutritious and capable of curing small wounds. Yep. Sounds like a plan. A spaceship? Is that something you can eat? I don't know what that is. Spaceship. Hmm. Have a look around, kid. If you're looking for something, you'll find it at all your goods. A spaceship? What the hell is that? I don't have anything like that for sale. Alright. 200 fall. Leather armor. Yay! Resurrection elixir. Machines? What the heck is that? Something that moves on its own? You mean like with symbology? Go ask symbologist if you want to know more about symbology. Okay. Wait, what? Where do you come from? I can't tell at all. Uh... I just saw Rina heading home really excited. I wonder what happened. Um. So where is he right now? Well, I told him to look around town for a bit. Wait a minute, Reyna. Hmm? Yep. Um, excuse me. Is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? Mm -hmm. No, um, I was just walking around the village and I wound up here. Oh, I see. I didn't expect you to be here. No, really. Is this a bad time? Oh, no. Not at all. Ah. Mom, this is Mr. Kenny. He's the one who saved me earlier. Huh. Oh, oh my. So he's the one you told me about? Well, hello there, Mr. Kenny. I'm Raina's mother. Just call me Westa. Okay. Raina said that you saved her from a dangerous situation earlier. Yep. Um, it's nice to meet you, Westa. Oh, I... Uh, it wasn't anything special at all. <laughs> but of course it is. It would have been a disaster if you hadn't shown up when you did. I told this girl time and again to stay away from the sacred forest, but she never listens to me. <laughs> oh, Mom. <laughs> Rena, you should just be glad that you're okay. Yeah, Rena. Anyways, Mr. Kenny, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I'm done here, so how about I show you around the village? Mm, sounds like a good idea. Ah, yes, please. Thank you. Although... See you later, Mom. Although I did. <sighs> okay, I got it. Have fun, you two. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. Although I did uh, look around the town a bit. I'm sorry about my mother. She can be annoying sometimes. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. My parents are kind of the same way. Yeah, just like mine. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, like you wouldn't believe. You'd be amazed. Yep. <laughs> well, shall we get going? Sure. Hmm. Well, hello, Rina. Who is this young gentleman? I don't think I've met him before. This is Mr. Crankenny. Crankenny. He's traveled here from somewhere far away. Oh, I see. That won't explain why I didn't recognize him. Yep. I know that you really like going to be sacred forest. Take me with you next time, okay? Alright. This is the home of the mayor of Alia. He's a really, really no knowledgeable guy, but he doesn't seem to be in right now. In the right. What do you mean in the right? Alright. This is the home of the town carpenter and his family. He's got a big job on the next town over now, over right now, so I don't see him at home very much these days. So the two kids here are by their themselves? That's right, those poor kids. I try to visit them at the chat as often as I can. That's pretty nice of you, Rena. Oh, not at all. I try. <laughs> what? Oh, come on! Why she looks so angry? Ooh, strappy jam. Hey, lady. Oh, Rena. Is your dad working today? Yeah, he hasn't been back in two weeks. But don't worry, I'll look after my sister while he's away. Yeah, I'm not lonely at all. I got my brother and you always come play with us too. Are you gonna tell us this, that story? I'm sorry, but I'm a bit busy today. I promise I will next time though. Alright. Alright. Okay, you promised. Ugh. Those kids are taking a long stroll on my voice. Whoa, Rena. This is the first time I've seen you walking around with a guy. Your mother must be very sick about where you've been. Uh -huh. This is Arlia's goods. They sell all kinds of useful things for everyone. Certainly smells good. These are herbs that you're smelling, actually. Huh? The herbs? Medicine that heals wounds, you know. Can't live a journey without them. Oh, herbs? I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't? Nope. I'm amazed you're still alive. Uh, how you doing, Rena? Running some errands for your mom? Yep, a total um, slowdown here. Hmm. Blackberries and rest. Thanks. Tick, 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 tick. Yay! Rena, why doesn't Alin come here anymore? Hmm, you know, that's a good question. Hey, Rena, who's this Alin guy? Oh, he's just a childhood friend of mine. He lives the town just north of here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Rena. You never told me about this guy. Is he your new boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. Just someone who saved my life, okay? Aw, you're so cute when you get flustered. Got it. That's it. Let's go, Mr. Kenny. Oh, wow. <laughs>
Hmm. This, ha this is the home of the newlywed couple. They so in love with each other, it's almost embarrassing to watch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, indeed. <sighs> this is the building church. We hold wed wedding ceremonies and things in here. Father Marshall is a very hard-working man. He's always there for us if there's something we need to talk about. Sounds like a wonderful woman. I mean, man. What? <laughs> oh, yes, everyone trusts him. Okay. There's one more guy. Hello. Rena, my child, how are you doing? You look just as, just as vibrant as ever. Okay, so that's all, I guess. Ugh, my skin is so dry. Okay, so I guess we go back now. Mom, I'm back. <laughs> Hello. 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 Rena, I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? <laughs> Mom, what's all this food here for? <sighs> Gotta stretch. <sighs> Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. How? Um. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Well, yeah, kinda. Actually, actually I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? <laughs> uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Oh, mom. <laughs> oh, mom. An hour later. It's like, ugh. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the meal, but I just can't eat anymore. Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. Yeah, I know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. Yep. I'm sorry my mother made so much. It's fine. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. Really? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. Yep, I am. I'm gonna go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, all right? All right. Sure, that sounds good. Yep. That sounds good indeed. Yes, I, I know. Mom, I wonder how she's doing. I hope she isn't too worried about me. Hmm. I've got to find a way to get home. Yep. Raina's taking a while. Uh-huh. Can I uh, rest? Um. Okay. I shouldn't come here without asking Rena first. Yeah. Sorry. No, dude. Don't. Uh, don't go there. There we go. I don't know. Rena did tell me to stay upstairs. 
Well, what am I supposed to do then? I can't rest. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? I'm pressing the buttons all I can. Oh no. Oh god, what I did. Jump cut, guys. Be right back. Well, guys, I'm back to the uh, part where I left off. But I have no clue what should I do. Because I don't see Rena anywhere. And uh, I cannot go downstairs, so... I really don't know what to do. And I have recorded already like 35 minutes or so. So, I really don't know what should I do. So, yeah. Oh. Ah, hello, ma'am. How is the meal, Mr. Kenny? I didn't make too much, did I? Mm, nah. Oh, not at all. All of it was wonderful. Thanks for making it. Really? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You're welcome. So you really liked it? Yep. I really did. Mm-hmm. Are you 100% sure? I'm 100% sure about it. <laughs> Why would you doubt with it? Well, thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if it wasn't good enough for the hero. Uh. Um, did you just say hero? Yeah. Raina! Oh no, 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 no! Hmm. What's wrong, Ma? Why are you panicking like that? I know, it's it's just that I've <sighs> Calm down, Mom! Tell me what's wrong. I said it. Said what? I said the H word. What? You told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Ah. Uh, Look, what's going on here? I have no idea. Please be calm, everyone. It's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. And here is where I stop. I will continue this on second part. So don't go anywhere. See you real soon.